Hi, this is Ed with Sapphire Technology and Sapphire Nation with another gameplay video. In this video, we are playing Fallout 4. Man, that started bad. I, I got blown up already. Oh. Mole rats. Gotta hate that. All right, so what we're going to do is play some Fallout 4 for you and show you what we got. Now, to begin with, let's go ahead and give you the specs of what we're looking at. We're playing at ultra detail level, and we're playing at 1080p. This is on a Nitro 390. We are pretty much pegged at 60 frames per second. So, with that being said, we're going to go in here, we're going to play a little bit. The Fallout series actually dates back to 1997. Can you believe that? 1997. And this is the most current installment. The Fallout series is, oh man, there's a lot of these things. Uh, the Fallout series is about a post-nuclear war. We're in a USAF satellite tracking station in our power armor. We're doing a little exploring here, and I wanted to show you some of the gameplay and what it looks like. And it's it's set in a 1950-ish environment. We're gonna let's see here. Now you see this is some of the cool stuff you can do first. Can I just blow this up? Yes, you can. That is so cool. Or I could have disarmed it. Let that trap run its course. All right. So it's set in a 1950-ish style. Now Fallout's getting a lot of grief for the fact it doesn't have necessarily the best graphics, as you can see. The texture quality, this is typical Bethesda. They'll release a game that they've they focused on the gameplay. Let me turn on the light here. They focused on the gameplay. They, they didn't focus on the graphics just yet. And that's okay, because the gameplay of this is outstanding. Hacking this is behind me. Here. I don't have the perks necessary. Yet. Someone there? What the? All right, let's go through here. You can see, you can see the gameplay is really smooth. I'm in the power armor, so I'm actually doing pretty good here. Quick, I gotta heal my dog! So you can see the gameplay here, we're very smooth, the gameplay is, is nice and even. The graphics, eh, you know what, I, I'm prepared to let the graphics slide. Now, there are some interesting glitches that I've noticed in the graphics. Shotgun. One of those is... Disappearing act, huh? One of those is the fact that the uh, graphics do not seem to stretch correctly to... Um, we'll take that. Do, do not no see the stretch correctly to ultra-wide screens, but there are setups for that to solve that. There are ways to put that together and make that work. Uh, this is a the ultimate scavenger game. It, it, if you haven't noticed, it's hard for me to talk a game with this because you really get into this. You really have to pay attention to what you're doing. Let me take the lock here. If that looks reminiscent to you of Skyrim, well, it should. It's a 
same basic lock picking Got mechanism. So that fuel oil there on the thing, I want to make sure I didn't die in it. Reload my gun here. You've got some interesting weapon choices. Um, let my dog deal with those. I don't want to deal with those. Stim packs are useful. Stim packs are what you use to heal. Uh, you're gunning, you're noticing my gunning accuracy is not the best. I haven't taken the necessary skills yet to get that up. But the game, the game, they've done a great job with the art direction. I think they really hit what they tried to hit with this. And, ooh, the rat counter went up a little bit. The game overall has a great feel to it, a great play. It's typical Fallout. It's what you expect. You have to. What was that? <laughs> have to uh, run around the various maps. You have to explore. You have to see what's going on. Ooh. Ooh. Power core. And as you can see, I just got another power core for my armor. That's going to be useful. Computer here we can hack. Computer hacking system is kind of fun, too. So, anyway, the um, gameplay is very, very smooth. It's very enjoyable. You get to have a lot of fun with it. The 390 easily throws around 1080p. The 380, which I have tested, does 1080p perfectly. You have to turn down the detail levels just a little bit. You're going to run high instead of instead of ultra but it still runs amazing also when you move up to the fury oh, let me see what we got here when you move up to the fury you can now crank up the 1440 resolution the 390 can do it really well but the fury is where things just get sexy with performance uh, what you're seeing here is a 390, 1080p, ultra detail, 60 frames per second. We have made it. Now, as far as other things later on, what you are going to find is, in ultra wide, this game does not directly support the ultra wide visuals yet. Wish they would fix that. There you can see the power armor. Ha 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 ha. It, it's got to fix that, but you can do it. There are a couple of mods out there. I've used them. I can play the game at 3440 by 1440. It looks awesome! Um, I can play it at that resolution with a 390 and stay in the upper 40s, mid 50s. With the Fury, I peg 60 frames per second. Just sit there, it never moves. Um, so if you're going to play at that level, definitely you want to check that out. I would seriously suggest getting the game. This game, now again, this is a typical Bethesda release, and what that means is, is this game is going to be really improved over the next few weeks and months as the modders get a hold of it. You think Grand Theft Auto had modding. You guys ain't seen nothing yet. The best modders in the world, the modding community for Bethesda is about to kick off on this, and trust me, it's going to go nuts. In the meantime, if you want to jump into this now, I, I don't see any reason not to. A lot of people are saying wait. I personally don't see any reason to wait. I'm very happy with the gameplay. I'm very happy with the way it works. It's got some minor quirks, but those can all be tweaked out. In the meantime, this is Ed with Sapphire Technologies, and you've been watching a Fallout 4 gaming video. Go out, try it out for yourself definitely buy it. If you're a Fallout fan, if it's a must-buy. If you just love a good RPG, it's a great buy. I'm Ed for Sapphire Technologies. Game on.